the main drive for knowing if we have the capability in place is to test. And the intent of the DART mission is in fact to test the kinetic impact technique where a spacecraft is going to collide with a smaller member of a binary asteroid. So it's a small asteroid that orbits the big one and it's going to change the orbital period of the small object about the main object and that is something that is measurable from the Earth. And we could then measure success or lack of success and know where we are on our planetary defense preparedness. The mission is going to test uh, advanced technologies, of which the next ion engine is one of them, uh, and this is the maiden flight of NEXT, so it's very significant for those of us that have worked on that ion engine. And it could be very significant when there is an asteroid that's on a collision course with Earth that we want to deflect. We've been working with NASA on the next ion engine since 2008, and we worked through a lot of uh, detailed technical issues as far as what was the best way to characterize their engine, what measurement techniques, methodology, and instrumentation needed to be developed to do that in the best way, and developing the most detailed diagnostics, so the ability to characterize NEXT in a way that no one else could. And that led into the development of NEXT derivative uh, propulsion of the annular ion engine, and we supported the transition to NEXT-C. Really, we worked from 2008 up until the point where DART became a real mission, where our help was requested. We not only characterized the, th the thruster itself, but also look at some of the impacts of the, that the thruster would have on the DART spacecraft. One of the most interesting projects, certainly, that I've ever worked on. So it's been a privilege to, to be part of it.